Hi guys, welcome back to the life of Nello. In today's video, we'll answer some of your most asked questions about Nello, of course, and about living with an Italian Greyhound in general. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned. So let's start with an easy question. How old is Nello? Nello is almost four years old. Time is running fast and we really have to live every day and enjoy it to the fullest, right Nello? And I feel like dogs really have the ability to do that because they don't think about tomorrow or anything, right? They just live the moment. Hmm? <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> Has Nello ever destroyed anything in the flat as a puppy, mainly? Yes. <laughs> um, to be honest, he wasn't so bad. I remember uh, quite a few things he's destroyed. For example, a shoe, I remember that. And, and that was really dangerous. For some reason, Nello was really into cables. So he destroyed two iPhone charger cables that weren't plugged in, luckily, but still and um, a cable from like from a lamp in the in the living room and I don't know when and how it happened but from that moment on we always plugged out every single lamp when we left him home alone that phase didn't last very long I always made sure to always have an eye on him so that really helped a lot so I could um, intervene before the real damage happened so yeah, not too, not too bad. Worried Whippet is asking, by the way, they recently started with their own YouTube channel. I will link their, their channel in the description box. Definitely check them out. She's asking, what's your favorite kind of walk to go on? That is actually a really, really good question because that's what we enjoy doing the most. Our favorite walks are the ones where Nello can run off leash just watching him explore the world. It's like seeing the world through the dog's eyes. Um, and I love walks in nature when there's not many people and other dogs around. Our normal walks are just parks in the city where it's usually very crowded. So when I have the time, I really enjoy taking Mello somewhere further out and just going on a walk, just us two alone. <laughs> but what we also really, really enjoy is going for walks with other Sightown friends. We've met so many lovely people through Instagram. You guys, if you ever come to Munich with your Italian Greyhound or Whippet or other, yeah, breed, let us know um, and we can arrange a walk together. Another question relating walks is how many walks per day does an Iggy need? Um, I don't think you can really say that for all Italian Greyhounds. It depends a lot on how intense the walks are, if they get to run off leash, also what kind of personality your dog has, how old they are. So um, I can only speak for us. Nello usually gets one walk a day where he gets to run off leash for about 30 to 60 minutes, depending of course on the weather and how much time I have. And he gets around three short walks, just pee breaks, potty breaks, where we just go outside by our house. So yeah, about four to five times during the day. Someone is asking, I'm curious on what techniques you use to help with separation anxiety. As this is a very complicated topic and I already made a video on that, I will link it here or here, I don't know, <laughs> so you can watch that. Someone is asking, did you always want an Iggy? <laughs> That's a really good question because um, no. <laughs> well, I did grow up with sighthounds, the bigger kind of sighthounds. It's an Arabic um, sighthound breed and they are crazy stubborn and super hard to train. So I swore to myself I would never want a sighthound like that, even though I love the breed, but it's just way too nerve-wracking for me. Um, but I fell in love with the sighthound in general. Like I, I like their physique, I like their 
their personality, I love everything about them. I had already met quite a few Italian Greyhounds and I thought they were super cute and just the perfect mini Sightown breed. So I looked deeper into the breed and I found out it's just the perfect breed for me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really, really happy that things turn out like this and never regretted it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how I ended up with an Italian Greyhound and from now on to answer this question I will always only want an Italian Greyhound. <laughs> Someone is asking, it's a really funny question, how is Nello dealing with fame? <laughs> well, I don't think Nello knows he's famous, I don't think he's famous or anything. Maybe in, in the Italian Greyhound world he might be. <laughs> But he doesn't care, it really doesn't matter to him. He loves when people say hi to him or cuddle him. Actually, it's happened quite a few times in our hometown now that people approached us and asked if it was Nello and if they could say hi. Nello loves it, loves the attention. And other than that, he is just a happy, normal dog <laughs> that doesn't know what's going on on Instagram. What's important to me is that he enjoys taking photos because if he didn't like it, I wouldn't force him to get dressed and take huge photos. How did your mom find you and pick you out? Um, that's actually a really coincidence because when I look deeper into the breed and Italian Greyhounds in general, I messaged an old friend because I knew he had an Italian Greyhound and I wanted to ask where he got her from and if he had any recommendations about breeders and stuff like that. And when I messaged him, he told me that um, they were just deciding on breeding on her. When their birth date arrived, um, I was in very close connection with the breeders. And um, I told them I wanted a blue puppy, which is totally stupid from my perspective now, because the color really doesn't matter. You should just pick a puppy based on which personality is the best match for you. But back then I was, yeah, I wasn't very experienced, I guess, and I wanted a blue puppy. So yeah, the litter was two blue puppies. I got to decide between those two and I picked Nello. So it was, it was pure coincidence and we were super lucky. Nello has always been the calmest out of the litter, which in the end for me was perfect because I didn't like, I mean, I like the liveliness of, of Italian greyhounds, but I don't like when they're super super crazy and Nello is just the perfect combination of lively but still calm at least for me of course it totally depends everybody's different and that's why I would always recommend to um, get to meet the puppies as much as possible and choose one that just personality wise is the best match for you and yeah in our case it was just coincidence but I guess also fate. <laughs> fate that Nello was the one we picked and that was just happened to be the best fit for us. Okay, next question. You have to read the next question, Nello. Here. Will? Will? Hey, come on, it's your job. <laughs> no? You don't want to read it? Okay, I will do it for you. Will you breed Nello? Well, <laughs> To be honest, it's a really nice thought to think about having some kind of ancestor of Nello one day um, and to kind of have him live through another dog. But it's quite a hassle to breed dogs here in Germany and I would not want to breed on him without the FCI or papers and everything. It's a lot of work, it requires a lot of time and also money and um, I'm not sure if it's that important to me as of right now. Yeah, we'll see what the future holds. I don't think it's gonna happen, but never say never, right? What is Nello's diet? And another question related to that is, what do you recommend feeding an Italian Greyhound puppy? Um, first of all, to answer the question about Nello. Nello is super picky and when I give him something after a short amount of time, he will get bored of the food and won't eat it anymore. So what I have to do is I have to keep things interesting. Well, at least that's how Nello trained me. <laughs> and I have to switch up his diet quite a lot. So for us, we do what works and not what my 
first choice would be. So right now Nello just gets quite a basic um, canned food, wet food. He gets two to three meals a day, always depending on how, um, how much activity he had. I really don't overthink this whole thing um, and just make sure that he gets as much as he needs. If you have a puppy, I always recommend to give them what they were used to from the breeder to avoid um, tummy problems in the beginning. And if you want to switch to something else, always do it slowly, do a slow transition phase for about two weeks. Um, make sure that you always feed food that has high quality ingredients with open declaration so you know exactly what's in it. Um, and yeah, just do what your puppy likes and what they, yeah, what they, what their body agrees with, I guess. <laughs> do you bark a lot, Nello? Sometimes he barks when he's nervous at walks, when he doesn't really know the other dog and he just, yeah, that's the only time he will bark. <laughs> it's actually quite a funny story when Nello was a puppy. My boyfriend was, he, he thought that Nello doesn't even have a voice because he would not even say anything. It took him about a year or something to bark for the first time. Well, no, exaggerating, but it took quite a long time until he barked for the first time. So Nello definitely is not a very barky Iggy, but I know of other Iggies who tend to bark quite a lot and I'm very, very happy Nello's different. And the last question, which is very, yeah, it's a very controversial topic, but I will answer it anyway. What do you think about neutering? As you can see now, quite obviously, <laughs> Nello is not neutered. The problem about answering this question is that you can never speak for other dogs. It's always a very individual decision that depends on your dog, the circumstances, you live in. Um, also, I feel like it's very different from country to country. In the US, for example, I feel like it's totally normal to always neuter dogs. Here in Germany, it depends. Like it's actually, it's, it's not allowed to do it without a medical reason, even though some people, they just find reasons to do it um, or to have their vet do it. Why I didn't do it is because we don't really have a problem with it. Like there's dogs who won't eat for days because they're so in love. And we don't have those issues, so I don't see why I should neuter him. It's such a massive surgery. It definitely can change your dog because it has a huge impact on their on their hormones, obviously. And I don't want to take the risk of changing my dog or, you know, if there's no reason to do so. I mean, it's always about um, weighing the pros and cons, I guess, in your specific situation. And for us, there's just no need to do it for now. Can change, of course, because Nello is healthy, happy, and okay with having, you know, his private parts in place. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we answered most of the questions for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked our video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. I know it sounds super weird to always ask for that, but it really helps us to give out more content like that and to also find out what content you like and what you don't like. So thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope we see you in our next video. Bye guys, see you. <laughs>